Hey guys, welcome back to Stencil Me 101. Today I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about raised stenciling. Now, when I first heard about this process, uh, it looked really intimidating, but the first time I actually went through with it, it went so smoothly and it came out great. So first things first, before you get started, you have to have all your materials, and I like to use just a simple plaster. I actually get the one where it's pink when it's wet and then when it dries it's completely white so then you know when it's dry and I apply it using a putty knife and that just makes it easy to apply and then scrape off. You'll also need your stencil of course and then a paint of your choice to cover up that plaster when you're all done. Another product I actually like to use is a antiquing glaze or any type of glazing at the end and this will bring back the detail once you paint it. Once you're ready to start applying the plaster to your stencil, you just want to make sure that your stencil is taped up firmly to your surface and then just go little by little working in small areas and once you get some plaster on, that plaster is actually going to stick that stencil even better to your surface so it won't move around. And then once you have your whole stencil covered, you're just gonna scrape away like that top layer of plaster and then you can put that right back into the cup of plaster so you can use it for another project. Once you remove your stencil and see your beautiful work, it is now time to paint after the full drying time, of course. You wanna make sure that it's rock solid and it's good to go. And I found it easiest to, when I'm painting it, to use a brush so it can get in between all those little grooves because using a roller, it just doesn't really get down into those areas. Once your stencil is all painted, then that is when I go in with the antiquing glaze and I just kind of use a rag and rub it on in certain areas and then taking off what I don't want anymore to highlight what I want to be more raised and then not highlighting what I want to sink back more. And then after that, that's all you need to know really. It's so simple and it comes out so amazing. I don't know why people don't add this to every single piece of furniture. You can do it on your furniture, your walls. That would be such a cool, unique accent wall and I just love the way that the outcome looks every single time. This concludes today's episode. Make sure to check back next week for some more helpful tips. Head to our website to check out more of our stencils and don't forget to tag us on social media with your stencil art.